80 feet. More left. Left. Right there, right off here. <laughs> oh man, taking candy from babies back here. <laughs> By the year 2050, there'll be more pounds of plastic in the ocean than pounds of fish. We're sitting here on the Atlantic side of Abaco, and just up and down the shoreline, it's just littered with trash. Just plastic bags, plastic bottles, shoes, plastic crates, fishing nets, bottles, flip-flops, and it's really, it's endless and it's everywhere. And you look up and down this beach and there aren't homes, there's no development. None of this is caused locally. This is all just pushed in from the Atlantic, driven by the wind, driven by the tides, driven by the storms, and it washes up on our beaches and, and it lives here forever. and just continues to break down into these smaller and smaller particles. Last year, we went through 115,000 plastic bottles. is we can put two gallons in each boat and then everybody gets their own water bottle and then we don't need any plastic bottles. <laughs> no, I got secrets. I just want to get some more of yours. <laughs> I think plastic was a good idea when they started it. I think it's a bad idea if they continue it. Why? Because look at how it impacts the animals. Look at an ocean, what's going on. If you continue it, what's going to happen? How do you dispose of plastic? So as a new father, you know, I have a two month old now and I look forward in the future and I can't wait to share my life and my love and, and what I love to do in the world with him. And one of the bigger concerns is that it's still going to exist. Are there still gonna be wild places and pristine places and these little perfect parts of nature that I get to go explore and fish and, and do those things. And for that to work, uh, you know, all of us have to do a better job and you know, getting rid of plastic in our lives is, is a big first step. It's all about protecting what you love. And I love the ocean. And the plastic problem in the ocean is real. And Getting rid of single-use water bottles in my life is a relatively easy thing to do. And transitioning that into my professional life of running lodges is very easy to do. And I hope that more and more people will jump on board this movement and stop using these single-use plastic bottles.